All right. Good evening, Yasmin and Blanca. Good evening. How are you? How do you feel today? All right, we have Jocelyn here and Edwin. That's great. That's amazing. All right, I will share my screen. Perfect. Okay, I want to know, how do you feel today? How are you? Are you excited? Are you are you sad? Maybe. Uh, I'm tired. Evening. Hey, good evening. Are you tired, Blanca? Um. Yeah, my home end of me. Ah, okay. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. You are Espero getting... poder. Espero poder participar esta noche. <laughs> right. That's nice. I yes. hope. I hope that as well. Perfect. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome to this class. I hope you learned a lot today. So this is our second class. And the quote of the day is, great things never come from comfort zone, zones. Okay, what do you understand about that phrase? What do you understand? Hmm? Great things never come from comfort zone. Maybe that you that you have to try hard, yet yeah, that you have to keep trying a lot if you want a result, a good result. You have to work hard for that. Okay, even in Spanish, you can try in Spanish. Just one volunteer. Que me diga, alguien que me diga, ¿qué, qué entiende sobre este pensamiento? Okay. Las cosas grandiosas nunca vienen de la zona de confort. All right, are you? You're so shy today. Están muy callados hoy. Oh, let's see. El frío nos está afectando. Yeah, yeah, that's the yeah. weather, right? The weather, yeah. You're right. Oh, okay, let's see. Perfect. Vamos a ver, I'm sorry. Here we are. WH questions with B. Ok. Ayer estábamos viendo. Um, let's see. I... Ayer estábamos viendo acerca de los possessive adjectives and... Um, about verb B, right? She is from Korea, she's from Albania, I am from El Salvador, and all of that. So, today, let's see. So, today we have WH questions with B. Okay? For example, what's your name? What is your name? So, we have a video in the platform. So please pay attention, pay, pay attention, right? All right. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Or By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to make yes, no questions and give short answers with B. Yes, no questions and short answers with B. Are you free? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. No, he's not. No, he isn't. Is Beth's class in the morning? Yes, it is. No, it's not. No, it isn't. 
Are you and Beth in the same class? Yes, we are. No, we're not. No, we aren't. Are your classes interesting? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Take a look at the questions in the chart again. Are you free? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. No, he's not. Or no, he isn't. See the structure of the questions. B plus subject plus complement plus question mark. Keep in mind the verb be will depend on the subject we're talking about. Also, when answering an affirmative, you have to always say yes he is, yes we are, yes you are. Your answer should not be just yes. You do the same with negative answers. When your answer is no, you have to answer by saying no he's not or no he isn't, no they're not or no they aren't. By the end of All right, perfect. For example, we have WH word. I don't know if you remember that word, WH. ¿Por qué se llama WH question? Porque las, eh, las preguntas inician con una W y una H, que son what, where, who, what are, where are, how are, and there are uh, many words, right? So, for example, what's your name? Remember yesterday we were saying that this is the contraction. Esta es la contracción. Pero realmente nosotros tenemos aquí what is your name? And what, why do we use is? Nosotros usamos is porque está en singular. Okay, your name, only one name. What is your name? So, nosotros respondemos, my name is Beth. Algo muy sencillo, ¿verdad? Lo que veíamos ayer de los possessive. Okay, después dice, where's your friend? Where is your friend? He is in class, but here we have uh, the contraction, his, in class. Um, who is Song He? ¿Quién es Song He? She's my classmate. She is my classmate. All right. For example, um, let's see, Jocelyn Rivera. Hey, Jocelyn. Can you please read this example? Just this one and the answer. Okay, uh, eh, what are your classmates like? Mm -hmm. They are very nice. Very nice, thank you. Okay, for example, um, this question, it's kind of different, right? Esta oración es un poco diferente porque nos preguntan ¿Cómo son tus compañeros? ¿Y cómo sabemos que nos está preguntando eso? Okay, what are your classmates like? Nosotros lo podemos utilizar para preguntar cómo. Cómo son también. What are your classmate, classmates like? No tendría sentido si en el like aquí. Porque el like, aparte de que es el verbo que significa gustar, eh, significa cómo. Por ejemplo... When we are talking with other person and we say like. Hey, how are you? Okay. Cuando estamos hablando con otras personas y decimos como. Oh, that's like weird. Eso es como raro. Okay. Es una expresión también aparte de ser un verbo. So, uh, what are your classmate, classmates like? They are very nice. All right, Edwin, can you please read this example with its answer? Um, yo. Ah, uh, Edwin, Edwin. Where are you, Alisa, from? Where are from Brazil? 
from Brazil. Thank you so much. Okay, tenemos acá, where are you and Luisa from? Estamos hablando en plural, you and Luisa. Si, si dijera solamente you, where are you from? Respondemos con I am from Brazil, for example. But here we have you and Luisa. Es eh, plural, I'm sorry, plural. So, our answer is in plural. You and Luisa. We are from Brazil. You. O sea, nos incluimos. We are from Brazil. How are your classmates? Okay, ¿cómo son tu... Uh, classes, I'm sorry, classes. They are really interesting. Son muy interesantes. Son, son realmente interesantes. Okay. Um, for example, do you remember what does how mean? ¿Ustedes se recuerdan lo que significa how? ¿Cuánto? ¿Cómo? 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 Right, thank you so much. Perfect. And what does where mean? Where? ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde? Exactly. And when? Cuando. Cuando, right? Thank you so much. Perfect. Then we have, how's your mother? She's doing great. Thank you. ¿Cómo está tu madre? How is your mother? Is that okay if I say, how are your mother? ¿Está bien si digo, how are your mother? Yes or not? Ahí sería plural. Plural, ¿verdad? Pero estoy diciendo mother. So, is that correct? How are your mother? Entonces no. No, porque estoy utilizando mother y mother es singular. Entonces, o cambio is how is your mother or I can say how are your parents. ¿Cómo están tus padres? How are your Parent. Cuando tenemos el, el complemento en plural, vamos a utilizar entonces plural. Por ejemplo, acá. Segunda oración. Eh, Alguien que me la pueda leer, please. A volunteer. A volunteer. This, this one, the second one. Perfect, what Jenny. Are you? Uh, Let's... All right, Jenny, because she's raising her hand. Thank you, Edwin. Jenny, go ahead. Okay. What are your classmates like? They're well behaved. I behaved, and that's nice. Okay, thank you. Perfect. ¿Cómo son tus compañeros? Okay. Ellos son bien portados. Y eso es, bueno, eso está bien. That's nice. There. What are your classmates like? Está hablando en plural. Your classmates. So we use there. Ellos. Nos están preguntando por ellos. Classmates. There. They or they are. It's the same thing. Well behaved, and that's nice. Where is Nico? Okay, here is missing the S. I'm sorry. Let's see? All right, Edwin, can you please um, read this one? It, I, I don't remember if it, it was Edwin, I Where's, think, right? What is okay. Nico? Mm -hmm. What is Nico? He is with his mother at the crunch, crunch. At the church. At the church. Thank you. ¿Dónde está Nico? Where is Nico? He is or his with his mother at the church. Perfect. Do you have a question so far? No. Okay. Remember with 
um, am, no, with I, I use am, I am, I can't say she am, right? Instead of that, I am. Then with, with she, he, and it, we use is. And with are, we use they, we, and you. Okay? All right, perfect. Let's see. Here we have equations. Complete these equations. Then practice with a partner. Who's that? Who's that? Who is that? It's the same thing. Está preguntando, ¿Quién es ese? Oh, that's Miss West. Oh, esa es. You, you can say like that, Miss West. La señorita West. Okay? Then we have she from. She's from Miami. So what's missing here? ¿Qué está faltando acá? Where, where is she from? Perfect. Thank you. Where is she? Where is she from? Perfect. Ah. A moment. Where is? Why are we using is? Because of she. It says she. Where is she? Okay, this, the third one. Her first name. What is missing here? Her first name. What is? What is, right? What is or what's? What's her first name? It's Celia. Perfect. The number four. The two students over there, their names are Jeremy and Karen. Recuerden que para poder saber qué va aquí, debemos continuar leyendo. Y así darnos cuenta qué es lo que debemos poner. Ese es un truco. Their names are Jeremy and Karen. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Who? Mm -hmm. Who is or who, are? Who, who are? Who are? Who are. Thank you. Who are? Mm -hmm. ¿Quiénes son? Right? ¿Quiénes son esos estudiantes de allí? Over there. Their names are Jeremy and Karen. Okay, perfect. Are they from? They are from. They are from Vancouver, Canada. Where are they from? Thank you so much. Are. Porque estamos hablando con, eh, de they. They. Con they utilizamos are. Verbi are. All right, and then they like. They are shy, but very friendly. Mm -hmm. Let's see. They like their Shy, but very friendly. Remember, we have uh, some examples here. What are your classmates like? What are? Okay, so what are they like? What? Mm -hmm. What are they like? Are, porque estamos utilizando they. Y a y like, porque yo les decía que significa también como. They are shy. Ellos son, recordemos, ver, be, ser o estar. Ellos son de Canadá y ellos, es, y, y ellos ¿sí? están 
puede ser también. En este caso es, ellos son tímidos. They are shy, pero muy amigables. But very, very friendly. All right, perfect. You have a question so far? No questions? Are you sure? Okay. I'm gonna believe you. Les voy a querer. Perfect. Don't forget to complete the platform, right? No se olviden de completar la plataforma, por favor, y seguir practicando. Okay, we have here another uh, lesson. How's it going? Okay, vamos a escuchar esta conversación entre nativos, right? Let me play the video and continue. We are in section two, by the way. Estamos en la sección dos ya. Así que ya pueden ir respondiendo la sección dos también. Easy, easy, easy. Sección dos. Don't forget to complete the platform. Let's see. How's it going? No, no, no. How's it going? How's it going? No, my my bad, I'm sorry. We are in section one. I got confused. Section one, section one. Let's see, let's see, I'm confused, I think. Oh. Sorry, guys. Yeah, how's it going? Okay. Estamos en la sección 1. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, perfect. Play, pay attention, please, to the video. I'm on my way to the cafeteria. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation between two people where yes, no questions and short answers with B are introduced. I want you to listen and notice how San He and David ask each other yes, no questions and how they answer. How's it going? Hey, David. How's it going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. So are your classes interesting this semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Chemistry? Are you and Beth in the same class? No, we aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure. Let's go. Perfect. All right. Okay, let's see. Perfect. How's it going? ¿Cómo, cómo te está yendo? It could be. How's it going? It's, it's the same thing to say, eh, how are you? Okay, it's another eh, way to say, how are you? Hey, how are you? Or, hey, how's it going? ¿Cómo te está yendo? Fine, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. So, are your classes interesting this semester? Así que, estas, ¿son estas clases interesantes este semestre? Yes, they are. Ok. De verdad, amo química, dice. La materia. Química. Estás, está, let's see. ¿Están Beth y tú en la misma clase? No, no lo estamos. No, we aren't. Mis clases son en la mañana. Las clases de ella en la tarde. Ok. Listen. I'm on my, I'm on my way to the cafeteria. Now, are you free? Estoy en camino a la cafetería. ¿Estás libre? Sure, let's go. Are you free? Okay. We have here yes or no questions and short answers with B. For example, are you free? ¿Estás libre? Yes, I am. Or no, I'm not. 
am not. Okay. For example, let's see. Blanca, is David from Mexico? Here you have the answers. Is, is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. No, he is no. Y esa otra sí no quisiera saber cómo se pronuncia. Isn't. No, he isn't. isn't. No, he isn't. Ahí donde me, no le entendí al audio, no le escuché muy bien la pronunciación. All right. Don't worry. Yes. Don't, don't worry. It's okay. Um, I think okay. we have here the video. So let's play it. <clears throat> it's a short video. Don't worry. It's, it's At the end of this lesson, participants will be able to make yes, no questions oh, and give short answers with B. Yes, no questions and short answers with B. Are you free? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. No, he's not. No, he isn't. Is Beth's class in the morning? Yes, it is. No, it's not. No, it isn't. Are you and Beth in the same class? Yes, we are. No, we're not. No, we aren't. Are your classes interesting? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Take a look at the questions in the chart again. Are you free? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. No, he's not. Or no, he isn't. See the structure of the questions. B plus subject plus complement plus question mark. Keep in mind the verb be will depend on the subject we're talking about. Also, when answering an affirmative, you have to always say yes he is, yes we are, yes you are. Your answer should not be just yes. You do the same with negative answers. When your answer is no, you have to answer by saying no he is not or no he isn't. Okay, I think I have played that video before and I had done, I didn't remember that. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. No, right, no, no, no. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, when we are making questions, we have to switch am, um, are, and is. Remember, we have uh, here some uh, um, some examples. Are they from France? How would it be the, the short answer? Yes, we are. Yes, they are. Or no, they are aren't no they are not for example yes they are it will be the short answer for that are they from france yes they are they are okay or oh, no they aren't or no they're not. Estas son las tres posibles respuestas. Okay. Tres posibles respuestas. For example, is she in our class? Está ella en nuestra clase? How would it be, eh, Kevin? Is she in our class? Las tres posibles. Negativa y positiva. Yes, she is. Uh -huh. Ok. No, she's not. Ok. No, she isn't. Perfect. Isn't. 
No, she isn't. Look the difference. Miren la diferencia. Y en estas, recordemos, pues usamos is. Perfect. Um, let's see. Jenny. Hey, Jenny. Can you please say to me the possible answers for is Marta's class boring? Is la clase de Marta aburrida? How would it be in positive form? ¿Cómo sería? Uh, yes, it is. Perfect. Ajá. No, it is not. It's not. And? No, it's not. In, in this case, it isn't. Es que no, no sé cómo, ajá, eso no sé cómo pronunciarlo, perdón. Is, okay, that, don't worry, it's okay. Uh, isn't. Yes? Isn't. Uh -huh. No, it isn't. isn't. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Perfect, thank you. Acá tenemos una pregunta, algo, algo así como tramposa, right? Porque dice, is Marta's class boring? Pues en este caso sabemos que Estamos hablando de la clase de Marta, así que es un, eh, ¿qué sería? ¿Un objeto? No, no es un objeto, es algo, no es una persona. Entonces utilizamos it. Perfect, thank you, excellent, Jenny. Then we have, are your cousins from China? Eh, Manuel, hey, Manuel. Creo que se va conectando, Manuel, right? It's okay. So, Jocelyn Rivera. Hey, Jocelyn. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Can you please answer this question? Are your cousins from China? Okay. Yes, they are. No. No, they aren't. Mm -hmm. And no, they are not. Thank you so much. No. They're not. Look, it's perfect here. Perfect. Thank you so much. Um, creo que queda super claro, right? Que con, con cuáles sujetos vamos a estar utilizando. Are, um, or is. Do you have a question so far? Questions or not questions? No questions? Perfect. Perfect. All right, we have an activity here. Complete this, this conversation. Then practice with a partner. Okay, the first one, it says, is Mr. Great from the United States? Yes, she. How would it be? She is. Thank you, thank you. She is, and then it says, from Chicago. How would it be? Is from Chicago. ¿Cómo sería? She, she is from Chicago. Tenemos acá que estábamos, estamos hablando de ella, ¿ok? She is from Chicago. Number two. English class at 10 a.m. No. Uh -huh, here. What's missing here? English class. It is? In this case, is, only is, is English class, is, because it is la clase de inglés, ¿verdad? So, solo ponemos el auxiliar. In this case, el verb is English class at 10 a.m., 
No, it isn't. Another another thing that I want to say is that así como okay, it is. Así como en el simple present, eh, con dudas, remember, uh, el auxiliar está al principio, ¿verdad? De igual forma aquí con el verbi, eh, el verbi en, en la pregunta va a ir al inicio. Pero en, en el statement, en la oración positiva, va a ir Después, ¿me doy a entender? Aquí tenemos is antes del sujeto. En la oración positiva tenemos el sujeto y luego el verb be. ¿Ok? ¿Es that ok? You understand that, right? All right. No, it isn't at uh, 11 a.m. How would it be here? 11 a.m. ¿Cuál sería el sujeto y su y su y su verbi aquí? Estamos hablando de una hora. So we use it is. Uh -huh. ¿Es la clase de inglés a las 10 de la mañana? No, no es. Es a las 11 de la mañana. Perfect. In this case, let's see. You and Monique from France. Plural, you and Monique. Oh, Monique. Are you? Thank you. Are you and Monique from France? Yes. We? We are. are we are, right? Are we are. Yes, we are in this case. Are, porque estamos hablando de eh, positivo. Utilizamos aren't cuando estamos hablando en negativo. Then, yes, we are from Paris, dice luego. ¿Cómo sería? We are, we are or we're, we're, we're from France. All right, thank you. That's nice. Okay, in this case, we have let's see, Mr. A and Mr. Tavares, American. Um. Uh, R, right? R, only R. No, they. Aren't. Aren't. Here we have aren't. And then they say, no, they aren't. They are. Right? They're from, ah, they're Brazilian. They're Brazilian. Ellos son brasileños. Brasileros. All right. Then... It says, answer these questions about yourself. If you answer, if you answer no, give the correct information. All right. For example, if I say, uh, Manuel, are you from the United States? Yes, I am. Oh, okay. You are gringo, right? <laughs> okay, perfect. Um, for example, Ke uh, yeah, Kevin Reyes, is your treat is your teacher from Canada? No, she's not. She's not. I'm not right. <laughs> yeah, she's not. Okay, perfect. She is from. Then you 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 give the correct information. She is from El Salvador. <laughs> perfect. Thank you, thank you. All right, uh, Blanca, is your English class in the morning? No, I am. It's not. Uh, no, it it's not. No, no. 
Mm -hmm. It's not. Only it's, it's not or it isn't. So, it is. No, it, it. It is it, at night. It is at night. At night, right? Thank you. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see now. Uh, Edwin, are you and your best friend the same age? ¿Eres tú y tu mejor amigo o amiga de la misma edad? Yes, we are. We are. Okay, perfect. Yes, we are. Thank you so much. Perfect. You're so smart. Son muy, muy inteligentes. See, I think we have we have an activity here. For example, uh, tenemos una actividad acá y yo tengo algunos famosos aquí y les doy una pista de quién puede ser. Así que si ustedes saben más o menos quién es, ustedes van a responder con una pregunta. Por ejemplo, is he Michael Jackson, por ejemplo, is he, pero tenemos que utilizar las preguntas. Is he Michael Jackson? O, um, let's see. Yeah, you, you can say it like that. Or, let's see. It's, is he from Canada? You can say, is he from Canada? Is he 45 years old? Y preguntas así, ¿ok? Pero la respuesta de un solo, no. Si usted sabe la respuesta, tiene que preguntar, ¿is he or is she? Ok, perfect. You got it? ¿Te entiende? Yes or not? No. No, ok, ok, okay don't worry. Por ejemplo, tengo acá... Unos famosos. Les doy una, una pista aquí de quién puede ser. Entonces yo les pregunto, who is it? Y ustedes, si ustedes saben la respuesta, van a, o van a ir indagando poco a poco. Por ejemplo, if you say he is Michael Jackson, is he Michael Jackson? Ustedes van a, de, van a responderme con una pregunta. O eh, is he from... El Salvador, for example. Is he from El Salvador? Okay, let's try. Let's try this one. Okay, in this one. He is tall. He lives in El Salvador. He has a daughter. And his job is very hard. Tienen que adivinar quién está aquí abajo de esto. Who is it? Yo les pregunto, who is it? Y ustedes tienen que adivinar. Is he uh, politic? Algo así de yeah. yeah, exactly. Is he Bukele? Let's see. Tarararara. Yes. <laughs> he is Nayib Bukele. Thank you. All right. Perfect. Good job. Good job. Then we have here, is he a sing? Uh, he is a singer, I'm sorry. He's a singer, he is famous. Since he is a child, he doesn't like cameras. Who is it? He is Harry. No, he isn't. Hmm. Try one more time. He's from USA? No, he isn't. He's from UK? No, he isn't. He is from Canada. 
he is Justin Bieber. Yeah. <laughs> he is Justin Bieber. Thank you so much. Justin Bieber. All right, we have here, she's in a famous place. It has art from famous people and discovered stuff. Where is she? It's a place. Remember, it's a place. You can say, is that a pool? Right? Es una piscina. Is, is that the beach? La playa? Where is she? Mm -hmm. Is it a museum? Yeah, yes, it is. It is a museum. Perfect. Then the last one. They're a British rock band. They are very famous, famous, and people have t-shirts with their names. Who are they? Who are they? Are they queen? No, they aren't. British, remember, British rock band. They are very, very famous. No idea. <laughs> You have no idea. Okay. Do you give up? Se rinden? Yes. All right. The Beatles. The Beatles. British, <laughs> British drug band. The Beatles. Perfect. Thank you so much. So super, super eso. All right. Then we have here... Um, Let's see the this reading. I think we have the in audio. I think I'm not sure. What's in the name? Let's see. Read the following. No, it's not. Okay. Esto está en su plataforma. Lo vamos a hacer juntos. Así que lo pueden eh, pueden ir. Let's see. Pueden ir viendo la respuesta correcta. Please. Vean la respuesta correcta para que luego solamente lo llenen. Así que lo vamos a hacer juntos. Perfect. Um, what's in a name? Look at the names in the article. Do you know any people with these names? What are they like? Perfect. In this case, I want you to please help me to read. Quiero que me puedan ayudar a leer. Y que lo leamos así con, con, con atención, ¿verdad? Para que lo podamos, eh, podamos ver acá cuáles son las buenas y las malas. So, please. I don't know who wants to read the first paragraph. I can? Yeah, you can. <clears throat> okay. Your name is very important. When you think of yourself, you probably think of your name first. It is an important part of your event identity. Ident ident identity. <laughs> identity. You can say mm. it like that. Identity. Mm -hmm. Identity. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Another volunteer, please. Me. Yeah, okay. Right now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. Why are these names popular? And why are so some names unpopular? Perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
Another volunteer for this? Is this one? All right, I think you can do it. Mm -hmm. Who wants to read? No sé si lo puede hacer un poquito más grande que no, yo no leo. Oh, right. No, don't worry. Yeah, I can. Like that? Is that okay? No. <laughs> no, okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Let's see. Like that. Ah, por ahí, por ahí. <laughs> okay. okay. Mm -hmm. And nice can be become popular because of famous actors. Ay, ahí no sé cómo se pronuncia. Shout out. Characters. Es, ajá. Or of Or actually, ajá. Popular names suggests very positive thing. Un popular me tapa ahí, teacher. Un popular, oh, let's see. <laughs> uh -huh. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, yes. Okay. En popular name cigarettes, negative things, super single people. People generally uh, agree on the on the way they feel about names. Here are some common opinions about names from a recent survey. Survey. Yeah, survey. Okay. Here we have boys' names and girls' names. For example, George, average and boring. It's, it's like eh, la mayoría lo, lo utiliza y es un poco aburrido. As, eh, okay. Jacob, creative and friendly. O sea, las personas que tienen estos nombres tienden a tener las mismas características. Michael, good looking and athletic. Que se ven bien. O sea, son de, de eh, ¿cómo podríamos? atractivos y atléticos. Stanley. Ne, pueden ser así como nerds que les gusta mucho estudiar y serios. Girls' names, uh, Betty, old fashioned and average. Es como old fashioned mmm, que no se pueden vestir así como muy, muy bien. A la antigua. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can say it like that. And average. Eh, Emily, que son independientes y aventureros. Jane, plain and ordinary. I don't, I don't remember what that's, what plain mean. I, I don't remember, but we, we will say. Y ordinarios. Nicole, hermosos, hermosas en, de, en este caso, e inteligentes. Okay, the last one. Yes, average. Average es como que, que casi todo el mundo lo tiene, que es bastante oh, okay. usado el nombre. And then the the last one. The last one. Okay. Plain y que no está como bien decorado. It could be. Así como aburrido. Como común. Okay, and then we have the last part. Okay, quién, quién, quién me ayuda a leer esta última parte. Me. Perfect. You can do it. Okay. Uh, so, 
Why do parents give their children unpopular names? The biggest reason is tradition. Uh, that's okay? Tradition? Yeah, tradition, yeah. Okay. Many people are named uh, after a family member. Of course, opinions can change over time. A name that is unpopular now might, might mm -hmm. become popular in the future. That's good news for all the George mm -hmm. and Betty's out there. Out there. Okay, George <laughs> and Betty. Okay, eh, dice esas son buenas noticias para todos los George y Betty's allá afuera, dice. Porque ya no le van a poner esa. Como ya está muy usado los George en los Betty's allá en Estados Unidos. Ok, perfect. Uh, let's see, let's see. Here we have the activity, the answers. For example, uh, I, will, I will do it like this. Dice, then check the statements that are true. O sea, a las, a las que son verdades, le voy a poner cheque. Luego ustedes ven ahí que, que cuáles no tienen cheque y pues así lo hacen en la plataforma. All right. Your name is part of your identity. Is that correct? Is that true or false? No. Are you sure? Uh, de acuerdo al, al, a este artículo, it says, it is an important part of your identity. Oh, okay, true. <laughs> Porque lo que, ya, yeah, lo que dicen es que según el nombre así vamos a hacer. O sea, como que sí, si, algunos le dicen ministra. El, el, el nombre que tienen, pues ministran. ¿Cómo va a ser la, la persona? Okay, so it is true. It's true. Perfect. People often feel the same way about a particular name. Ok. Algunas personas, o oh, las personas, eh, a menudo sienten la misma cosa acerca de un nombre. What do you think? Ok. Discuss, discuss. True or false? True. True. Why, Manuel? Cuando se habla así de, de ahorita de George, todos piensan de que es average and boring. Mm -hmm. That's true. Pero sí, That's me imagino que sí lo sienten cuando mencionan algún nombre. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, number three, boys' names are more popular than girls' names. What do you think? Según el, el artículo. False. False, right? False. Acá, si vemos lo mismo, es por las niñas que por los niños. Perfect. People are often named after the family members. What do you think? True. True, right? True, porque les ponen el mismo nombre, por tradición. And opinions about names can change. True. True, right? Perfect. True. It can change. It depends on the family, on, on a, a lot of things, right? Oh, let's see. Let's Perfect. Let's see. Okay, guys. Do you have a question so far? Questions about the equations, about the WH word, about uh, the WH equations. I don't know. Do you have a question? No, okay. Just remember, uh, complete the platform, please. Esta semana vamos a entrar 
eh, de una vez a la, a la segunda semana, creo que mañana entramos ya a la, perdón, a la segunda sección de, de la plataforma, lo cual es muy importante que ustedes puedan completar y llevar eh, ese orden debido. Ok, so if you don't have a question, you can also play the video in the, in the YouTube link, right? So, thank you so much for attending the class and bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Good night. Rest a lot and don't forget to study. Bye-bye.